Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Files. Those freaking files. They're all over your computer. And they're all over the internet. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people even send you files. It's not a problem if you know what to do with the file, right? But what if? What if you download a file that you know you need access to, but you don't know how to view it? Or worse yet, you know someone out there who doesn't know anything about files, right? What do you do? Well, you go to the interwebs. I need to open this file with this extension, dot, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, you get a list of a million possible programs, most of which are likely going to be riddled with spyware or just crap to begin with. You don't want to spend any money to open a file, do you? Well, if you do, that's your prerogative. It is. I mean, certainly. Some programs do better than others, and you pay the privilege, but in some cases, all you need is a, a free way to open those files, to view those files. What do you use? Well, you, you could use the associated program for that file. How do you find it? Oops, I zoomed into the wrong spot. Open with dot org. Again, open with dot org. This has got an index that you can search of free programs to open any file extension. Everything listed here is free. So uh, you can scroll through a list of recently added or updated extension. ICNS, for, exist uh, for example, a Macintosh icon file. It can happen, even if you're using Windows. How are you going to view an ICNS for free? How? Well, let's click the link and find out. Oh, apparently there's a free program called IcoFX. Interesting. So we'll click that link and we'll be taken off to the website. Nice. Oh, I didn't even realize this this program existed. Very, very nice for free. Okay, there, there there's a there's one win for you, uh, especially if you're using Windows and you needed to view a file that you only thought was possible to view on Mac OS X. It's all about compatibility, buddy, and it's all about openwith.org. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do I really need to say anything else about this? If you don't have any other great resources for professionals or total noobs, feel free to drop me a line. Chris at Perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks if you have a question or if you have a set of answers that you just got to get off your chest. I've got no hair on my chest because I yell at the chest. If you yell at your chest, no hairs will grow. It's true. It's true. At least it is for me. Geeks.perillo.com. We yell at chests. Yeah! Our own, of course. And we also have this chat room. Typically talking tech, hardware, software, things that are relatively obscure. Like myself. <clears throat> 24 hours a day. 7 days a week. And the chat room here is a part of this live video experience. Streaming out over the internet right now. At live dot perillo dot com. We'll see you later.